seem to know what we're doing and where we're going now. Sort of. What if you could explore a world across an ocean full of culture? From here, it's all uphill. Right. Stair step for 2001. A place where the mountains are high. And I am beat. Damn it. I am happy. Woo! All the making great in spring 2009, our team of three explored 23,390 foot Harunse in Nepal. This is our story from the jungle to the heights of the Himalayas. We had one of our tent poles snap. We are still stuck here in the Good Times Clubhouse at 21,500 feet. This is the best view we've had in a while. This is Ski the Himalayas for Runse 2009. All right. Feels damn good to be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, we're just standing around talking. <laughs> I'm doing the robot. Yeah. <laughs> we have people watching us, yeah, as usual. Yeah. Namaste! <laughs> Alright. We, we have definitely been the... Uh, right. We're a few days into the trek at this point. <laughs> That's right, so you got John Miller here on the left, I'm Ben Clark on the right, and this is episode number four. We're in a town called Tashigan, hanging out. And this is one of the longest, weirdest interviews. Because it's not an interview, we're just standing there talking, and then some people join us. right? And, and I look at Josh, and I'm like... We're talking about getting off the airplane in Tumintar. <laughs> no, you, we don't have any idea where the hotel is. This is the classic developing world. Okay, now we're here. Now what? <laughs> I'm like, all right, you guys hang here with the bags. People, you know, are coming up running, and I'm like, oh god. Two bags just start wanna, walking away. Yeah, I'm like, they just want to help us, but I, I don't want to be helped right now. I want to find the hotel. And <laughs> no, it was hot, and it was like we just got off a plane, and these guys just roll up, grab our bags, and run off, and we don't even know where we're supposed to go. Our people, uh, the people that we work with, weren't going to be able to make it into Tumintar until like sometime later that night or the next morning, and we had no contacts there we flew into a field and it was like okay sweet later, yeah. like, okay, uh, we might need you later but uh, right now we want to figure out what's going on before we let you take those bags away <laughs> josh and i remember we walked like all the way down to the end of town and back which took about 10 minutes and then we came back soaked in sweat yeah. And you weren't feeling very good to begin with. Oh, I had some <laughs> bad bacon more money, I'm and not on top of some bad I meat. Still was gnarly. I still have karma. You hate bacon? We'll oh, bacon <laughs> cat men do very bad. Very bad. <laughs> yeah, dude. Nepal, like, is just a totally different business. We're talking about the wheeling and dealing of Nepal now. And then now what else we? Let's see what we talk about here. I like being in these mountains and being like... Mm -hmm. Homesick because <laughs> because I want to see <laughs> snow-covered mountains <laughs> and feel like I'm at home again. <laughs> like what a bizarre feeling to be somewhere like this. That's totally it's it's pretty in its own right and it's jungle, but it's not where you know. This is the prelude. Kind of yeah, thing. like you this is like adventure travel. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're like going keep, to the mountains. I think day six, and it's starting like, to wear on us a bit that we have <laughs> not left the jungle. Oh, I know. Totally we right. came, yeah, we come to the Himalayas because we love climbing like these big right. mountains, and yeah. here there's the ski bags here. Uh, just yeah. a bunch of jungle for a long bags. time, which turned out to be really cool, but added so many days onto the walk in. And this is we're almost up on a week now. And I personally hadn't quite prepared. Either myself or my equipment for a week a of jungle travel. I was thinking like a day or two. <laughs> to do lunch until we get to where we're sleeping. Because yeah. This, that was getting old. Yeah. And. <laughs> yeah, we've been hauling. Yeah, we weren't hiking very long. Like, yeah. Our porters and cook staff I'm could ready. only, uh, we could move for like three to six hours a day. We're usually like to move a lot faster than that. Hazy. Most yeah, of those three or six right. hours was us I'm cruising and then waiting, going, okay. You know what? Oh, we go that way, sweet. Screwed on for the Alpine. Yeah, it's I'm ready to go climbing, yeah. like climbing, like throwing, <laughs> throwing on skis and boots and gear and rope and climbing. Yeah. Being in the mountains and climbing. I like the hike. It's fun to yeah. trek through here, but. And, uh, I'm excited with, for the fact that Melinda's here, that I'm getting to yeah. share this with her, and totally. she's having an absolute blast. Yeah. Watching the woman. That's right, John's fiance. <laughs> 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 that was cool. It was pretty classic. Have people 
definitely need it. Does that much, shock you much, much more bearable for me. <laughs> I think you guys are a little jealous at times. <laughs> they're suspect, and all of a sudden you're like, namaste, and they're like, oh, hi. And you're like, boom, that's yeah. all it takes. It's, mm -hmm. You know, we wish nothing but the best for you, too. We're just hyping here. Exactly. Yeah, and you always hear about... So the purpose of this length of this interview... Or uh, this little stand up here where we're talking so nice. is it's a it's a people magnet. It's actually a Nepali magnet. Check it out. I need the kids. Reeling them in. Hey, pencil, give me pencil, give me balloon. Yeah. But even that, not much of that. It's yeah. mostly just. You know, hey, pencil. I got a girl today on the uh, camera. I was next to a stupid and I was doing this. Push Did you know you got a girl while you were there? Well, no, no <laughs> girls for me. I was shooting a video. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that, that works. That works too. Yeah. Do you want to come in? Do you say come come to? Do you see yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste. 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 Paul. Yeah. Their looks are halfway between. This is fun, <laughs> and these guys are crazy. Yeah. That's right. It's a Sony people magnet. You you put it on a tripod and people just show up. It's amazing. Well, you can see. <laughs> but the thing is, I mean, there's no, there are no video cameras Proof of hanging point, out right there. Yeah, you can't do much without Not very often. Hanging out and doing whatever. I think that's cool. That's Nepal. You could be hanging out, like picking your toes on the side of the street. It's my come sit by you, you know, hang out, talk to you. Where from? Okay. <laughs> you know, ask you about your clothes, ask you about what, what you do. It's cool. It's really nice people. And this is, I think, in the, is this town? The uh, we actually did stay inside. And they had either a radio or a TV. I'm not oh, entirely yeah, sure right. what it was. <laughs> in between the grandmother <laughs> hacking her head off yeah, all night. She had it. <laughs> that was normal. And then that, whatever they were watching, it was just like, they're having a party down there. Totally. <laughs> These, those kids just ran off. Mm -hmm. They kept hanging out because they wanted to be in the shot. So now we get back to the trail. Um, you know, that last little bit was to give you a sense of just how the people aren't actually camera shy here. So this isn't like your reality TV type of deal. It's like these people don't ever see themselves on TV and they're, they're, they don't really see a whole lot of TV. No. And so here we are, uh, day seven, hiking through the jungle. This is essentially what a Nepali highway looks like. Uh, when it yeah. comes down to it, there aren't any roads back here. And Tashigan was the last town that you came to last sort of village before, you know, we now are just going to see structures up at altitude. Yeah. But these guys are still in their, like, sandals and carrying these enormous baskets, man. Those things are yeah. huge. Absolutely. And this is where the, the we've already been in the, the uh, Maroon, uh, Maroon Makalu National Park, but now we're really getting into it to the point where, like, there are no more towns. It's just no. going to be a couple of little structures here and there. This is a this kind is a of cool rest boulder. spot. Huge boulder. I believe the scale is so this is kind of set up. It's about 80 feet across and then here's John Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, Malin, his future wife, <laughs> and then Josh Butson. Dun, dun, dun. It's like a triple butt shot. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the least you, awesome shots you can ever do in video, but at least it gives you a sense of the scale you got these three guys kind of cruising underneath that huge tilted boulder. And all you climbers out there know there were hardly any features on the other side of that boulder. Yeah, it definitely. was good granite, but not a lot of features. Yeah, at least five, oh, I don't know, five fifteen. Yeah, beyond, beyond what we were going to pull off. Heck yeah. So here's John again hiking up. Trails were like, this was that huge long section of like 2,000 feet of just kind of gnarled up bushes. Yeah, just kind of weird up to going uphill, some rhododendron in the background a little bit. Um, the vegetation starting to change because we're getting, we're finally, we think, getting out of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we came around, Jess thinks he saw the, the ruins of Unshia, I don't know. And then we got the peak right over here. So we're guessing uh, right over there is Kuma, which I know, hey, I'll be happy about. I know the porters will be excited. <laughs> It's like a six thousand foot day. A lot of up, a lot of this last section was. Josh is. <laughs> yeah. Stair step for two thousand and one. <laughs> Come on, we only did six thousand 
vertical today ish something like that depends on whose watch you believe and if you believe the map, the map. <laughs> that's a <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm, right that was super accurate and hey we had the colorado 14 years chris right dalton who edited this and i were sitting here looking at this just the transition between jungle and suddenly like <laughs> alpine peak <laughs> yeah like that's crazy all right so we are almost to kume we're on a 5,000 foot day right now we're at 11,000 500 feet and uh, started out 7,000 feet this morning pretty awesome day it's definitely still cloudy and uh, had a pretty good night slept in a guest house last night which was really nice and then uh, yeah this is what what is this day six or day seven day six of the hike <laughs> and uh, Sums it up. we've really been out here a long time probably have four or five more days we're not really sure yet but it's been pretty good I think um, yeah it's kind of funny like the jungle Really hot, really sweaty, not so psyched. And uh, up here, feeling really good. It's nice to be 11,500 feet. Mountain air, it's really refreshing. Snow covered peaks right behind me. And uh, Chortons, these little Buddhist. Um, we were so excited to see those. Yeah, just little Buddhist. yeah dude, this is the element. This is oh, what we live in, like religious. normally. Undertones and the jungle is like the kryptonite. Pretty, <laughs> to be here, it's like, of course, you just get a spring in our step. We're like, oh, 6,000 foot day. We'll be in the alpine zone. Yeah, let's do it. Right now, but <laughs> couldn't be uh, couldn't be happier. Really love the high country and just so psyched to be here. Other than that, um, just another day in the life. You know, it's just feels really good to be here. Really great to be with Josh and John and, and Melin. We're having a good time hiking in. And, I think this is probably the quietest I've been on any trip because I'm just content. Melan's orange pants. Just a really great time to be here and, you know, it was really good to be here. Yeah. <laughs> That's that. It just it feels damn good to be here. <laughs> Can't complain, dude. Can't so, complain. this is Coma. A thriving megalopolis. Can you hear that? A goat. There's yeah. a loud one. So, you got our tents here and we're set up. Coming over here in the corner of your screen, you see John and Josh and Malin all sitting over there. And uh, that's above the blue sheet metal. It had been a little bit, a little drizzling that day off and on, so we yeah. were kind of excited to have a bench to sit down on, a little get out of the rain a bit. And totally. And you notice we're wearing puffy jackets. Yeah. It's actually cold! That's right, if you can believe it, going from the humidity of the jungle to the alpine zones of... 23,390 foot Baroon say that's where we're going to keep going towards and trying to climb here in the next few episodes. Coming up next episode, we're going to go somewhere even crazier. Um, this is the end of episode four. John, thank you so much for joining me as always. Thank you, Ben. And uh, yeah, viewers, skidamalayas.com if you want to see what we were actually writing while we were sitting on that little bench a moment ago. We blogged it.